Uh, hi, my name is Evan Greenwood. Uh, I am the, the director on, at, at the company Free Lives. We work on this game called Broforce. We're here at PAX. Uh, it's on the last day. We've had an absolutely amazing time. Uh, we feel so lucky to be here. We're all the way from South Africa. And I don't know, Devolver set up the stand and it's, it's just been incredible. So talk about the inspiration for this game. So I, I, think, I think this game kind of wears its inspiration on its sleeves. It's, it's about 80s and 90s action heroes. It's kind of a parody of them. It's, it's a bit like the games played in the 80s and 90s. It's, it's got a bit of Contra, got a, middle, bit of a little bit of Metal Slug in there. Um, yeah, it, it's a bit of a modern twist. Uh, you couldn't have this much destructible environment in those games. And we've kind of tried a few things and kind of made this like co-op experience that uh, people seem to enjoy. Talk about some of the new stuff you guys have implemented outside of the destructible environments. So we've we've got an online version that's uh, quite quite new. It's uh, it's still it's still a bit rough, but we're trying to make it so that even if you even if you're at home without any friends, uh, you, you can play with friends online. Um, we're uh, putting together an update that might go out in the next next few days even, uh, where there's a world map and you can kind of. Uh, have a bit of a conquest across it, liberating territories as you go. I think it's going to maybe make the game feel a bit more, um, a bit more complete, but uh, give give a bit more context to the um, like crazy chaos that goes on in the levels. Talk about the different playable characters in the game. Uh, so it started off with a, a playable demo that just had four characters. It was just Rambro and Bia Barakas, uh Rodel Walker as Walker Texas Ranger, and Commando from Commando. And it's kind of it's grown since then. As we've been going along, we've been adding characters. It wasn't like it wasn't all of the characters at one go. And we've I think we've learned a lot as we've gone. The, the, the more recent characters have gotten a bit more nuanced, a bit more complicated. Um, and it's quite it's quite a nice organic growth because they unlock later in the game, and then players have played a bit more and kind of can appreciate the uh, the new tactics that they they um, give them. What are some of the different specialties of each of the characters? So. I think one of the hardest ones to get right was the Boondock Saints. We've got the Boondock Bros in there. So there's two of them, and they uh, they, they they control a bit like Ice Climbers in uh, Nintendo Brawl. Um, what's interesting is that if one of them dies, the other one goes on a rampage, and it gets like a lot more fire rate, a lot more movement speed, and can use uh, their special ability to bring it back. So you've got this, if you keep on picking up special ammo, you can keep on resurrecting yourself. Um, it's kind of, it, it plays very differently to the rest of the characters. I really like Ronan the Barbarian. He's got a, an enormous, he's got a charge, or well, a, 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 a leap and, and smash, where he destroys a huge amount of the ground, and it just kind of, it feels strong, and he, he kind of yells a lot like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's like a bit of a, a, bit of a uh, reference there, and like, that's a lot of fun. It's, it's really great, like, yelling in the air and kind of wielding a sword. What's the story behind this game? What's going on in this world? Uh, well, I, I think that the, the story has been uh, left until what, what feels like kind of left until last. We've we've got a the, this kind of Vietnam-esque environment where there's these action heroes fighting what are presumably terrorists, um, and there's Satan in a business suit. He pops up from time to time. I I think we we're trying to we're trying to make a game about um, you know an American all-star like. Uh, team who are the only ones who can save the day, where like, terrorists threatening the world, and that kind of that kind of trope. Uh, we want to leave it a little bit, um, I guess, up to the players' imagination. We'd like them to feel like they're the team, and we're kind of working towards a kind of uh, hopefully a more kind of open-ended story where it is there isn't going to be a lot of dialogue. I don't I don't think uh, people playing co-op really want to read. Like, well, they don't want to read a lot of text. I don't think they really want to be told what the story is either. It's a story about the people playing and, and what they do. And we just want to give them some tools to make that an interesting experience.